the number one television program for pro wrestling worldwide. Beach, Zach Andrews. Yeah, I, are you interested in a, in a, in a, tri a three-way like a tag here? Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. Uh, we don't care who it is. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay, fine. Who is it? Johnny Roston. Oh. Barlow Creek Butcher. Sorry, and who again? Isaac Takeover. What do you think? Johnny Roston has been a thorn. Side for quite a while. Uh -huh. I mean, he and I used to. We, we tagged together at one time, but that man, he just cheats. Just consider. He cheats all the time. He's cheating. Uh huh. And I love working with the Fallen. Like, lo or, I love working with the Fallen Circus. Like, love working with them. There is nobody. They love working with you too. Oh, I love it. So, yes, yes, I am in. If She's in. If we get to take. She's in. Johnny Wilson? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. She insists that she gets to hit Johnny Rawson a lot. At least once or twice. What, when are we doing this? October 14th, you say. Huh? And and where? Where where do I need to be to make this happen? Enderby. Enderby. Enderby! Oh, interesting. You know, I've heard something about Enderby. What's that? Well, I heard that they haven't had a female wrestler ever wrestle in those hallowed halls. Vico confirms. Well, then let me be the first and let me be the best. All right. This, yeah, she's in. All right. It's going to be great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you there. Enderby. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be great. October 14th. Yeah. All right. Okay. Say hi to Zach. October 14th. <laughs> We're days away from it. And the Barlow Creek Butcher has found out his friends and his opponents. Rostin, Isaac Takeover. <laughs> Rostin knows who I am. We have a large group of friends. You never know one of us might show up. Isaac, take over. Glad you're on my side. <laughs> We're going to introduce you to a new kind of fun. A new kind of fun that the butcher likes to play. <laughs> now! That's for Becky Beach, Zach Andrews, and Hank. <laughs> Big West has just unleashed the absolute scariest and most menacing thing 
come to the company. <laughs> and if you think I'm not going to make them realize the pain, I'm going to induce on their wrestlers. <laughs> They're going to think twice before they bring me back again. Because I'm going to tell you this when I get in that ring. So they will forever remember the Barlow Creek Butcher because on October 14th in Enderby, BC, I am coming there and I am ending my first day. <laughs> <laughs> October 14th, Big West Wrestling returns to Enderby. Now, Big West Wrestling makes its return, but me, Havika, well, it's my first time in your beautiful city, and I am excited. Looking forward to a big tag team matchup. My specialty trios, that means three, first three, six people in the ring. Now, that's a lot of people, and I got a lot of words to say about those people, and I, <laughs> I could talk for a long time, but instead, Instead, we're gonna bring some friends in, a little uh, visual aid. Now these, these right here we'll refer to as Havico, Zach Andrews, and Becky Beach. And for the point of illustration, we'll just say this is Johnny Boston, Barlow Creek Butcher, and the Takeover Kid. Now these guys right here, they're a collection. They are a strong unit. They belong together. They all have something in common. Now, these guys here, they all may be amazing individually, but together, they are literally just a batch of misfit toys. <laughs> now, the team that I'm bringing to Big West Wrestling, we've got chemistry, and that is something you cannot beat. We've been traveling up and down the island together for years, training together, fighting each other, and with Ramon Carlton in our corner, <laughs> watch out. When I come to Enderby though, I am looking for more than just a win. <laughs> I will be striking the fear of the clown into the hearts of my opponents. So when you crawl back to wherever you came from, <laughs> you will become an omen for the days to come. The circus is coming. Follow him. Oops. <laughs> That's right everyone, Mad Dog Marty Sugar here, and we are just days away from Big Trouble in Little Enderby, live from the Enderby Drill Hall on Saturday, October 14th. Doors are at 7 p.m., and physical tickets are at the Enderby Museum until Saturday afternoon, or you can pause this video and use the QR code right now that's on your screen. You don't want to miss this exciting show as Big West Wrestling comes raging back into Enerby to reclaim our spot as the hottest event in town. We've heard a lot already this episode about the huge six-person tag team match, but there's also a mysterious Say My Name showdown that will see all y'all in Enderby calling out Beetlejuice, Bloody Mary, and the Candyman to do battle for our morbid enjoyment. As the old saying goes, however, be careful what you wish for. Meanwhile, two other matches come together by night's end with the internet title as the ultimate treat regardless of what tricks are up anyone's sleeves. We heard from Sean Murphy and Rick Jules last week. Now let's hear from Evan Ashford. Big West Wrestling on October 14th in Enderby I get what could very well be my last shot at the internet title. For the past 11 months, I have been screwed out of that title so many times, whether it be by outside interference, injury, sickness, whatever, it doesn't matter. October 14th is my last shot, the last bone thrown to me. But there's one obstacle, Sean Murphy. Me and you face off in a qualifying match and the winner moves on to the triple threat. Yes, you have won 
countless trophies and cups all across the Pacific Northwest. But I am very pissed off that I've been screwed out of that title so many times. And quite frankly, I will do whatever I need to do to get that spot. I don't want it to be handed to me. I'm going to earn that spot in that triple threat. And Sean, I will use all of those cups that you have as my own personal stepping stone to get to that triple threat, whether you like it or not. Yes, you are big. Yes, you have talent. But I am pissed off and I will step over you. Hey, Rick Jules. You know what happened last time we faced off in Enderby. I pinned you for the three. And in a triple threat, the ropes can't save you this time. The Nanaimo kid is really putting the pressure on himself, ladies and gentlemen, as he tries to beat the clock and the odds to become the youngest champion in Big West wrestling history. But that's what championship opportunities will do to a wrestler, regardless of their age or experience levels. Speaking of which, the Native American heavyweight champion, Sumite Wokla, has made waves defending his title here in British Columbia in such places as Victoria, Nanaimo, Kelowna, and Vernon. And now, Big West Wrestling is bringing him and his big gold belt to both Texada Island and Powell River. On Texada, the dastardly duo of Todd Quality and his Headache-inducing manager Lance Skulls have drawn the right to challenge Sumite in Big West debut in Jennifer Tilly's adopted hometown. Let's hear from both champion and challenger right now. Hey, Big West, the Big West. Here we go, Canada, once again. Another contender for my Native American Heavyweight Championship. Very nicely done, very nicely done. You wait till I get back here to the States to call me out, Mr. Todd Quality, Todd Quality. Quantity, Todd Quality. You better come in quantity because just one of you ain't gonna be good enough to get the job done and ain't you been watching? Ain't you been paying attention to what this war chief's been doing to your fellow countrymen? I've been demolishing and destroying each and every one of you just for, for a little bit of payback and retribution for my own kind and that. So, October 21st, 6.30 p.m., don't be late. Tussle on Texanda. Be there. Don't be late. Be early. Come get your merchandise. Come get your t-shirts. Let me say hi to your little kitties before I put my paint on. Because once it comes on, the smiles and handshakes come on. You're done, Mr. Tarkon. Invest in stock now. Because it's about to come. 21st Texada Big West Wrestling <laughs> got yourself a champion a champion with a fantastic belt he's from around he takes it everywhere he's a man by the name of Sumate Sumate now Sumate you're coming up against Todd Wall. That's this man right here. Now, Sumite, let me tell you this. I hear you have a nice shiny belt for Todd Quality, and you're putting it on the line, and I appreciate that. And welcome back to Canada while we're at it, and also, welcome to one of the biggest beatings of your lifetime. Oh! Now, that's quality. That is quality. Da, 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 da. Now, there's a famous quote from a famous set of unfinished novels that goes something like this. Winter is coming. That's true for this time of year as well, but when it comes to Big West Wrestling, I will have to admit that hell has literally frozen over because an integral part of Big West Wrestling, who a few years ago claimed would never return to Big West, and I personally seconded that emotion, is not only back when we come to Powell River, but he's once again battling yours truly, Mad Dog Marty Sugar. I'm talking about three-time Big West television champion, Danny Deeds. Having had a massive falling out with the company, both professionally and personally, this was a match that should never have happened again in the Big West ring. But this multi-promotional rivalry between myself and Cremator has led to insanity, audacity, and quite frankly, pure evil. It's a beautiful day to cut some promos in British Columbia, isn't it? Danny Deeds is going to be howling his way back to Big West wrestling in a couple weeks. And sure, 
I'm unmasking the situation now, but heed my words, gentlemen. You are going to feel the wrath of evil deeds on October 22nd at the Ark. But digressing ever so slightly, it is apropos that after all these years away from Big West Wrestling, that coming back, the main event would feature four of the heediest men in this entire province locking horns and getting down to business. Because the fact is, there's no love lost between any of us. And it doesn't matter what we wear, how we look, or what we say at the end of the night. On October 22nd, there will be a fight in Powell River. And you are going to learn what the architects of anarchy are all about. October 22nd, Powell River, the Ark. Tag team action, main event. On one side, we've got Cremator, Von Slasher, and Evil Deeds. And on the other side, you have myself, Crofton Duche, and Marty Sugar. I don't know why. I, what, do I, what did I do to deserve this? I was in a match. I saw an opportunity to hit Cremator with a chair. You know, he's seven feet tall. You should hit the guy with a chair. Marty Sugar, you're like my mother. You interject where you shouldn't. Look what happened. Deeds, I don't know why you're involved. Of all the guys that could be coming over to Powell River, I feel like your skill set could be best used somewhere else in the interior or the Okanagan. But come on down, I got a size 14 for you. Cremator. Man, we've been going back and forth for a long time. I'm happy for you. You look a little lighter. Marty Sugar. The last time we were a team to pull the curtain back was over 20 years ago in a backyard in Port Alberni, and I gave you a black eye, and we were teammates. Powell River, fireworks are gonna go off. Whether they happen in the locker room, in the streets, or in the ring, Sunday, October 22nd, Big West Wrestling, don't you dare miss it. Never say one. <laughs>